In this video, I'll talk about the Arduino software system. This allows you to develop programs on your laptop computer and download them onto your Arduino board. If you're going to develop programs for an Arduino board, what you need is the Arduino Integrated Development Environment. And this is free. Uh, the same version works for all different boards and you can select which board you're developing programs for and you can download it. Uh, there's only one integrated development environment although of course there are new versions uh, being developed all the time so you can download it and run it on your own laptop whether it's a, uh, a Linux machine or a Mac or a PC. Uh, and this development environment includes a number of different things. Uh, it includes a C compiler so the programs for the Arduino are developed in C and it includes the compiler as well as the other parts of the assembly chain the assembler and the linker uh, these are all kind of hidden from you so you basically just push a, a compile button and it's all done for you you don't have to worry too much about the details of make file you don't have to worry at all about the details of make files and and things like that it's really a, a pretty clean design um, it also includes an editor, so uh, you can type in your programs, um, and uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so you write a C program. Uh, what you do is you uh, invo invoke functions to perform I.O. within your C program. So they provide a library of functions that you can use. And these functions, are there are not there, that many of them, and they're quite easy to use. In fact, the whole development uh, system is, um, in my humble opinion, uh, easy and straightforward. Um, the software comes with some demo programs, so these are quite helpful if you uh, want to see some examples of how to do things. When you push the compile button, uh, it performs compilation, and uh, assuming there are no errors, uh, it creates an executable. You don't even see any of this, um, so it's kind of all done for you. Um, it turns out that the executable file is in what's called Intel hex format. So uh, this is a, a very old and established uh, form for downloading uh, bytes into a microprocessor. And the development software running on your computer uh, communicates with the Arduino board directly. Uh, typically, uh, you would uh, have a USB connection between your laptop and the Arduino board but you can also download your programs using the RS-232 serial uh, COM type connection uh, if, if for some reason you need to do that. The USB is uh, far more convenient. There's a bootloader program that is on the board from the get-go the minute you uh, receive it and it is listening uh, for a communication from your laptop and when it receives the executable file in Intel hex format. It uh, writes it to the flash and then starts executing it. So it's very straightforward. There's a, 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 a compile and download button uh, that you just push and all of a sudden your program is running on the Arduino. Um, the reset button on the Arduino board will cause an interrupt and that will uh, cause the program to restart and it will jump to your application program in the flash memory. So uh, you can unplug the USB cable after downloading your program from the laptop to the Arduino board and use some other power supply for your Arduino board. Every time you push the reset button, your program will start from the beginning. And since your program is in flash memory, it won't go away. Let's look at the AVR architecture and ask, what's missing? What's not there? Well, to start with, there is no facility for implementing page tables. So you're not going to have any way to do a virtual memory system. Uh, in addition, there is no system or user mode in the processor. There's only a single mode, there, or, or effectively, there is no distinction. Uh, so there's no possibility or no way to implement a protected kernel. So right away, we're not really going to have an operating system on this board. Unix is not ever going to run on this thing. It's got a particularly small amount of memory. There's never much memory on any of the different AVR processors. So uh, you're not going to have extremely complex systems. 
but in my experience, um, there is enough address, uh, there is enough memory to implement some very interesting programs, and it hasn't been a, a problem for me. Uh, the registers are only one byte in length, and while you can do um, multi-byte operations, it takes more instructions. Um, there is no cache memory on the system. Um, there's a minimal pipeline with only two stages. Uh, the clock frequency is generally quite slow. 16 uh, megahertz is uh, really quite slow compared to, say, a, a 1 gigahertz uh, processor, Intel processor. Um, and there's no floating point uh, instructions. There are no float floating point instructions. So you're not going to do any kind of serious number crunching. Um, this precludes any kind of graphics operations. Um, so, in summary, it's got fairly poor performance uh, if you want to compare it to something like an ARM processor or, you know, maybe an Intel uh, processor in your laptop. It's got very poor performance. But for the applications where it excels, um, it's uh, plenty fast enough. Uh, it's a, a well, it's a, it's a very capable uh, microprocessor and it's got a great uh, cost uh, point. So. Uh, its performance is just fine for the sorts of applications you'd be using it in. On the other hand, the AVR architecture has a number of really great strengths, and this is what makes it uh, a really nice processor. In particular, the instruction set architecture is reasonably simple. It's not too complicated, so uh, you can understand it. Uh, quite frankly, uh, some of the other processors, like the ARM processor or the Intel microprocessors, are really quite complex. They get their incredible performance at the cost of uh, their complexity. I feel like I can understand this thing and that really I find very appealing. Uh, the chips have very low cost and also have low power so that it makes them ideal for applications uh, that re have uh, these requirements. The, the system is simple so your entire computer uh, is really quite small and understandable. And with the Arduino software, uh, you've got excellent software support. The Arduino Integrated Development Environment software is, is, is very easy to use and I haven't had any problems with it, so I'm, I'm really a big fan of it. Um, the focus on the chip is really on doing I.O., uh, either digital I.O., you know, driving wires high or low, or analog I.O., measuring voltage levels and so on. And uh, there's also support for pulse width modulation, which I'll talk about in the next video. Uh, in short, this makes the AVR processor ideal for uh, embedded applications. It's, it's an example of a modern microcontroller or microprocessor that uh, is uh, ideal for embedded applications, where the Simplicity and the low power and the low cost are, and the size are ideal, uh, are important. Uh, for example, robotic applications or maybe uh, including it in some uh, simple appliances or other mechanical devices. So overall, uh, it is what it is. It's a great little processor.